Hey everybody! Um, this video tonight is going to be on gel eyeliners as I had a message just wondering where my previous video went um, because someone was having trouble um, applying the gel eyeliner so I thought I'd just make another video on the eyeliners that I use um, and the brushes and I've also just done a demonstration of applying the eyeliner that I'm wearing now to one eye so I'll show you that at the end as well so um, firstly the Clinique um, Gel Eyeliner in True Black is the one that I've been using for ages now and I've nearly run out, I don't know if you can see, but I've still got quite a lot left but um, I was getting low on that one. Um, that's a great eyeliner, very thick consistency so you know you get a really good colour payoff and um, it goes on well and it does last you know, for hours, especially when you powder it. Um, but recently I've just bought this Ink Eyeliner Gel Pot in Dominatrix. It's like a sleek um, eyeliner from the sleek range. Um, so it's in Dominatrix, the black one. Obviously it's a lot cheaper than Clinique, so that's a plus. And this is another great eyeliner. It goes on, it's thinner consistency than the Clinique. So um, you do have to go over, I had to go over the area a couple of times to get the strength of colour that I wanted. But as it is slightly um, thinner, it glides on better than the Clique one, so, you know, there's sort of pluses to both, really. Um, and also, again, once this was powdered, it lasted for hours. I slept in it overnight to do the test of, um, I always do that test just to see how long it will last. The Clinique one was great. Um, so I kept this on my eyes all night, and in the morning it looked practically, you know, like it did when I applied it but the flick had slightly worn away on the corner but so you know a really really great eyeliner and I'm really pleased with that. Um, so they're the eyeliners that sort of I've used and really really like and then next on to brushes so um, there's a few sort of brushes that you can use and it just depends on what works best for you really. Everyone's different so um, you know it's just best to try all the brushes and see which, you know, what works for you. Firstly would be the angled brush, which is, you know, very flat and shorter on one side. Um, and this is um, quite handy for, like, getting into the inner corner as it's longer. Um, and some people probably like this for doing the flick as well. Um, then there's a flat, thin brush, like this one from MAC, which is the 212. Um, and, you know, this is quite good for getting across the top of the your eyelid um, neatly. And also for underneath the eye, this one's a really good one. Um, but my favourite brush has to be this Charles Fox brush, which I've talked about before. It's got a really, sorry it's dirty, but a really fine point on the end of the brush. Um, this is the number six, so I've had this for years. Um, I got it with a makeup kit for college, so I'm not really sure of the price or you know, where you get it, but I'd say definitely online, and I don't think Charles Fox is um, very expensive, it's quite reasonable, so um, check out that if, you, if you're if you interested. But this is um, a great brush, because it tapers to a point, you can get the perfect um, flick on your eyeliner, and the line is just so precise, um, so if you really want a neat, clean line, um, you know, this is great. And also, with the fine point, you can get right into the corner, um, you know, without getting mess everywhere and, you know, I do like these angled brushes, the angled and the flat brush, but I can't get a flick very well with them, not very neatly anyway, um, whereas the Charles Fox is just, you know, hassle-free, it's, you know, seconds and it's on, as you'll see in the demonstration. So, I hope that was helpful, um, and, yeah, that's it, basically. Um, anyone has any other questions, um, let, just, you know, send me a message or um, comment below and that's it really so um, stay tuned if you want to watch how I apply the eyeliner and um, thanks for watching bye so I'm just putting a bit on my brush and just sort of get the excess off on the back of my hand and then I just go in and show you so you just basically create the flick in the corner of your eye and then bring the liner in Let's go the other way for the inner corner because it's easier and if the flick's not quite how you want it I'm just going to bring that bit a little bit higher 
and just touch up any sort of bits that need a bit more colour and yeah basically that is it um, so I start from the outer corner and move in just because um, as I mentioned before in my other video if I go the other way for me the whole way across I get this like puckering effect so I just sweep it in towards the inner corner of my eye and I think that it you know literally as you saw how quick that was to do you know it's just so easy um, if you just bring it in that way and then what I would do is just set this with some translucent powder or if I want it really jet black I'll use um, a black eyeshadow and just go over it with maybe the angled brush and just set it with that but you know it really makes a difference if you set the eyeliner but yeah that's it the only trouble is getting your eyes the same on both sides so well, that's the only trouble I have <laughs> I can get one really quickly and then you know the struggle is trying to get them looking even but you know it's just practice and if you um, sort of just measure the distance from your eyebrow and the angle that you've got you've got there you should be able to sort of quite I normally just come it in at an angle from the corner of my eyebrow into the corner of my eye and I kind of create the flick like that so hope that was helpful and you know also recommending the sleek um, eyeliner gel pot which um, was thanks to Sarah for recommending that in her video um, yeah so thanks very much for watching and take care everybody bye